Basketball on 2K Sports. I'm Kevin Harlan. With me at the table, Greg Anthony and Richard Jefferson. And we've also got Hall of Famer David Aldridge reporting from the sidelines. A look at the opening lineup for the Houston Rockets. The pairing up front, Smith and Shengun. The guard spots are Van Vliet and Green. And it's Brooks in at the three slot. And for Toronto, we've got Barnes. Bruce Brown is out there with Emmanuel Quickly. Then it's R.J. Barrett. And it's Porter in at the five, roaming the paint. And this is the kind of basketball we love to watch. Right, Richard? Teamwork, playing for one another, making each other better. You need that to be successful. It doesn't matter how much talent you have. Teams that play hero ball make it too easy for the defense to adjust. We won't be seeing too much of that tonight. Van Vliet against Quickly. And Barnes sends it back. Barrett against Brooks. And Barrett gets it to go. I love seeing Barrett cash in there. He knows he has what it takes to finish through contact. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. What an entrance to the lead Jalen Green has had. So much success early on in his career, and it was expected. He's a scoring machine. Anything he's asked to do on the floor, he can get it done. Free throw good, Green. Greg, remember back when the 22-23 season started and the Rockets were among the youngest teams in the NBA. And it's hard to win in this league with youth and inexperience. Houston's front office aggressively adding quality vets like Fred Van Vliet in hopes of stabilizing that roster. Both free throws good from Green. Look, Green is one of those players that always finds a way to create something offensively that gets his team good looks. Round with it. He's picked up by Brooks. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And one outstanding things the Raptors do, Greg. They really protect the ball. Yeah, even when they're not playing their best, they don't give away games with mistakes. They force you to find other ways to beat them. Shooting two. That free throw good from Brown. Oh, GA, the long arms and athleticism up and down this roster for the Raptors. It is something. Yeah, they have a type that they're looking for. Blocks, steals, deflections, all coming in bunches. The activity will be there. And Brown drops them both. Last outing for Toronto. They won that game against the Bulls in Chicago. Green against Brown. Shots good by Green. And one of Green's best attributes is that he doesn't really see contact. He will either go over it or through it. The pass to Porter. Van Vliet against Quickly. They get the rebound. Van Vliet outside. And Green with the basket on the assist from Van Vliet. And it's six points for Jalen Green. Quickly kicks to Barrett. Back to Quickly. Brown outside. Wants to get it to Barnes and does. He can't get that one to fall. Smith with the defensive effort. Here's Green. It's hauled in by the Raptors. This game coming on the heels of their win against Chicago. And sometimes it's a lot harder to get easy looks on the road. But they found ways to get their guys good looks. 
Yeah, they seem unfazed by the hostile environment. I mean, just look at how efficiently they shot the ball. Brooks against Barrett. Brooks outside. Shoots from 12. Here's Shengu. And terrific work on the offensive glass, and he picks up two. Hard work pays off with a rebound and a bucket. That's just great fundamentals. So timeout called here, the first for the Raptors. Richard, the Houston Rockets were once a powerhouse team in the West, especially during the 2010s. Yeah, they even gave the KD and Steph Curry Warriors a run for their money. Look, the James Harden era in Houston was special, and now they're trying to get back into contention. And the Raptors going out now with a whole new group. Already it's February. Let's see how the East is matching up. You take a look at the Raptors. They're way down there in the conference standings, looking for a lot of improvement during the second half of the season. And I think for Toronto, they've had such a disappointing season. Even when they've gotten a little bit of momentum, they haven't been able to keep it going. Yeah, it's frustrating everyone. The players, the coaches, the fans. There was this idea that they might struggle, but I think the reality is starting to set in. Now, here's McDaniel. Here's Schroeder. And the Raptors miss again. And you could tell he thought he had a little more space, but the defender was right there. Did a great job closing the gap, making the shooter feel uncomfortable. Thompson passes to Tate. The kick out to Holiday, and it's out of bounds. The Raptors will take it the other way. Just under three and a half minutes gone here in the first quarter. Schroeder passes to Boucher. And here's Trent. To end the drought. The rebound by Holiday. Those are chances almost always you can rely on him to get you two points but the D just enough to keep him out of rhythm and once he got to the 10 I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open easy possessions like that literally are just a gift you just dream of them he'll gladly take those now Trent puts up a deep three and the last shot at the buzzer doesn't go in for him and so the first quarter is in the books. Rockets lead by six. And the second quarter will get underway just after this short break. And for those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. And when you consider how the Rockets are doing, guys, you know, what are your thoughts? What we saw in that first quarter, uh, they won their matchups defensively. Making it as difficult as possible for the offense to find clean looks. Great stuff. Break. there's been a scoring surge throughout the league. Is that due to poor defense, or is it to the rising talent level? Listen, teams are still defending, uh, and the rules might have helped some. There is no doubt that there's not as much grabbing and holding. But these guys are scoring from all over the court and, and doing things we've just never seen before. We've got Dennis Schroeder. Scotty Barnes is out there with R.J. Barrett. Then it's Young, and it's quickly in at the one spot. So that's the five in the game for Toronto. Now here's Barnes. He has yet to score. The 2022 Rookie of the Year, Scotty Barnes. But you know what, Greg? Still working to take that next step. What do you think is his key? Kevin, that's an easy one. It's going to be perimeter shooting. 
you know, we, we get spoiled with all the other things he can do. And he's had a tremendous start to his NBA career. But I think to become that superstar, the jump shot has to become a weapon. That free throw missing. Some changes for Toronto. Porter's checked in for Young. And Dick subbed in for Dennis Schroeder. And the second free throw, good. Hey, Richard, you look at Houston's roster. They are stacked with high-level athletes. The Houston Rockets have done a great job of adding players that they feel can add strength and cultivate skill. Because athleticism, that's something that you just can't teach. Oh, how about the vision from Smith? You have to know not just where, but when to deliver the ball. Here's Barnes. Makes it off the glass. No, he's just ridiculous. He's just an absolute surgeon when he has the ball. This man is surgical. There is no way to slow him down when he wants to score. With the short break in the action gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldrin. Thanks very much, Kevin. Toronto has a new head coach in Darko Rajakovic. He started coaching at 16 in his home country of Serbia. So even though he's still young, he's already a lifer. In his near decade as an NBA assistant coach, he made a name for himself in player development. And of course, Kevin, that's going to be essential now with the rebuilding Raptors. It is, but I love his resume. His story is terrific. He is just what they need. David, thank you. Here's Van Vliet after the Raptors pick up two. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. And an aggressive inside play there from Van Vliet, not letting the foul deny him from getting the shot off. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Rockets. The ball movement has been outstanding so far. They've come out of the gate looking for that extra pass. And also, guys, they're out muscling their opponent. The points in the paint are piling up because of that aggressiveness. You throw good, Van Vliet. So Van Vliet nails both of them. Now he's perfectly comfortable doing work at the line. Quickly with it. Hasn't made one yet. Pass to Dick. Over Green. Dick can't get it to go. A good board there, Kevin. But overall, they're getting slightly out-rebounded. And we've seen some pretty impressive things from Alperon Shingun. Yeah, young fella already has a record to his name. The youngest center to get at least 30 points, 15 rebounds, and five assists in one game. Do you want to know who the previous record holder was, Greg? Listen, I got you. It was Shaq. Great D that time from Green. Rockets leading by eight. Van Vliet wide open. It's good. The assist that time from Smith. Van Vliet's got five points in the quarter. And the Raptors call time here. And this is the first season matchup for them against this Rockets team. And this is a matchup that can frustrate them as they came up empty in their two games against them last year.
So the Rockets end up going with a whole new group. And now let's have a look at the teams that have had the quickest hands in the NBA during the past month. In second, the Rockets. What a month they've had defensively. I mean, they've really gotten after it on that end of the floor. Raptors trail by 11. And for those of you just joining us, we're in the second quarter with about three minutes gone by. Stolen by Thompson. Goes up, and it's Thompson with the jam. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. We know mistakes lead to breaks. That's just textbook right there. On offense, here are the Rockets. They're on a 12-4 run right now. What's the pick? Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Bucket number three. He's a perfect three for three to start. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. And guys, to go on a big run, get some breathing space, it has to be a great play on each end. Ooh, I rushed that one a little bit. Pretty clean look inside. Houston leading by 15. Here's Thompson. It's hauled in by the Raptors. Great contest by the defense, and he's unable to hit that tough fadeaway. And it's Schroeder missing. And you could tell he thought he had a little more space, but the defender was right there. Did a great job closing the gap, making the shooter feel uncomfortable. And so it's Houston. Their lead at 15 going into the break. A look at the field goal percentage numbers tells the story of what tough defense they're playing today. We'll return shortly. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and the Jet. Kenny Smith, let's get to it. Houston holding the upper hand after the first two quarters. They lead by 15. Kenny, give us your take. Well, it comes down to confidence. From the open and tip, these guys had that swag. They had the attitude that you can't beat us. We can only beat ourselves. Shaq, let's get your insight on Toronto. I know it's not the case, but it seemed like they were lacking on the offensive game plan. Maybe some guys were improvising and they should have been making the next pass, but hey, not looking good out there. And that'll do it for us. The third quarter about to begin with Kevin Harlan standing by. We'll catch you on the flip side. My brother. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. You look at Jalen Green, he's really been playing well. And even with the defense shading towards him on every trip down, he still finds a way to come up big. He's just that good. You can plan for him, but he just makes great adjustments on the fly. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. Taking a look at the Rockets, at the forward spots, it's Brooks and Smith. The guard spots are Van Vliet and Green. And it's Shengun in at the five. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. And as for last season, he was a 74% shooter at the line. And here's Green. He'll bring it up for the Houston Rockets. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Brooks kicks to Van Vliet. And some nice passing there by Houston. Brooks feeling it out a bit. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. And when you look at Dylan Brooks, he's someone that doesn't mind playing the villain. 
Yeah, he definitely seems to embrace this villain role, Greg. And look, a guy like that that keeps getting under your skin, that can be a benefit for your team. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And that one falls for Brooks. And there's a flexibility to Brooks's game. He can play a specific role for you, or he can be a high usage guy. Really depends on what a team needs from night to night. And both free throws good for Brooks. Raptors trail by 14. Now, here's Barrett. He's got five. Over in the corner, Brown. Shot clock at six. Over Green. And it's Brown missing. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be, firmly in the driver's seat. Barnes against Brooks. Houston needs to get a shot off. Van Vliet kept alive by Houston. Shingun, no good. Give the defender credit. Willing to challenge the shot. Lots of other guys just let them score there. And he drives in. That should give him a nice little jolt. Ah, uh, yeah, it has to. They need a jolt, GA. And they need more where that came from. They're not out of this hole yet. Smith inside, Barnes on him, and it's Smith missing. And out of the gates here in this second half, they have not started well. 0 of 3. And that one's good quickly. They're doing work here in the second half. 3 of 4 to start. Now here's Van Vliet. He's got 5. Behind the back and lays it in. Van Vliet's got 7 points in the game. Oh, tricky play by Van Vliet to beat the close coverage. Slipping pass there for the finish. Count that one. Consistency all game long. He's going to continue, I think, to have to take it over to get them back in the game. Brooks, the pass to Van Vliet. Here's Shengun. A minute 20 left in the third quarter. And it's blocked. This has to energize Barrett. He needs to keep bringing this type of intensity to the defensive end. Both teams deciding to change it up. Thompson, left side. Six to shoot. Good. Great play by Green to set it up. And it's nine points from a man, Thompson. Passes it to Young. And he gets it to go. Back by great length. I call Young a reliable interior scoring option. Thompson against Schroeder. A drive by Thompson. Shoots over Schroeder. And the Rockets getting another bucket right there. He has been a key factor for them offensively. Scoring with consistency. Pass to Dick. We've got 33 seconds left in the third quarter. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in cracking this huge lead. And that one's good. Green. A lot to like about Green's game. Best part, he is a shot maker. Here's Dick. Banked in off the glass. And they are attacking the rim and getting great results. Houston leading by 13. Here's Green, and Houston again with the bucket. Look, I don't care if Green is shooting from outside or in the paint close. This man finds a way. Dick wide open. And he beats the buzzer. Wow! Yeah, that's just an amazing play to get that ball off in time. Talk about being Poised under pressure. Big time shot from him there. And so it's Houston looking at a 13-point lead heading into the next quarter.
Their strategy has been clear tonight. Work the ball inside, get shots in the paint, and now they are scoring with ease. Back right after this. And now we have a moment to uh, reveal our State Farm assist of the game. And, you know, you can always count on him for at least a couple of these pretty assists over the course of a game. And this one, a thing of beauty. And the ability to drop your jaw with the pass is something you rarely see in this league. What a talent he is. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. Gary Trent is out there with Emmanuel quickly. Then it's R.J. Barrett. Then there's Scotty Barnes. And it's Boucher in at the five spot. So that's the five in the game for Toronto. And the Raptors with the ball, following the score by Houston. Tate against Trent. And blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. A relentless defender, Smith, proving how disruptive he can be on that end. It's good. And after an abysmal first half from the field, the shot's now starting to fall. The pass to Smith. Thompson outside. The shot. It's rebounded by Scotty Barnes. After his trail by 13. Trent outside. Pass to quickly. Let's it go from 14. I don't know if he got in his own head there or what, because the defense can't really take credit for that miss. And Barnes sends it back. Poke loose. Thompson with it. Headed now by Barnes. Thompson passes to Smith. That's in. Coming off the assist from Thompson. Smith's got his first basket of the night. And guys, what do you think about the hustle stance for the Rockets? Great heads-up defensive play tonight, creating offensive opportunities for themselves by forcing deflections. And also, guys, they've been showing how dangerous they are in the open floor. When they see a chance to get easy points, boy, they just jump that. And Thompson throws it down. Relentless in their approach, even with the game firmly in hand. No let up with these guys. They're going for the throat now. And the call will be against R.J. Barrett. That's his first foul. And really just a great play to sacrifice his body and take the charge. Bruce Brown, he's checked in for the Raptors. And a switch here also for Houston. Jeff Green, he's checked in for Tate. Van Vliet against Quickly. Van Vliet passes to Smith. Six on the shot clock. Shot from 12. Van Vliet can't get it to go. Raptors trail by 17. And this is what they wanted. I mean, to announce their presence in this matchup with authority. Very decisive. It can definitely be considered a statement win for the Rockets. The biggest factor tonight had to be their great shooting. They shot much better than the other team. Yeah, they were working hard on both sides of the floor. But that sky-high field goal percentage plus the pressure defense to force the other team into a lot of misses. Love the effort tonight. And you can mark this one down in the W column. It'll mark their 23rd of the season. And once it becomes official, this win gives them a nice confidence boost against this team. They'll face them twice more this season. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for a men Thompson. And let's just say this, the name of the game is scoring, and yes, he provided that tonight. You're welcome. And some nice passing there by Houston. And Thompson kicks to Smith. And Vliet on the wing. From outside the arc. Doesn't go for him. Passes it to Barrett. And it's blocked. And that's out of bounds. Toronto will retain possession. Yeah. 
Brown outside. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You got to show some fire and keep defending. So we see the Rockets taking the win here. This was a very strong showing for him, Greg. Not necessarily a runaway win, but one they'll feel very good about. And let's face it, anytime you can go on the road and win in the fashion they did, you have to feel good about it. it really an outstanding effort all the way around. And that'll do it, folks. This is Kevin Harlan saying thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.